All right. Howdy, folks. What's up? We're back, dude. We're f- back. I swore already. <laughs> Damn it. Ah, maybe I'll bleep that one out because YouTube likes to uh, de- demonetize people who swear in the first little bit. Um, even though it does, it's kind of weird that their whole thing with that, you know? Like, it, you're not a rated R movie. Like, if someone, if there's like a, okay, Jesus Christ, if there's a movie where they just like, they they don't swear in the first like 10 minutes and then the rest of it is like, fucking shit, doo-doo, brain, you know? And then it's what, going to be rated G? It's going to be rated G for family? Gambling? Huh? No, it's not. So YouTube, let me swear in the first five seconds because that's just the way I talk. Okay? But whatever, it's all good. Welcome back to the podcast. This is a very, really good episode 116, dude. I got my hands in my sweater pockets. You know, we're chilling, dude. Literally, because it's freezing in my apartment. It is so fucking cold. Um, it's that time of year, dude. It's that time of year when the, the, the world gets a little further away from the sun. And uh, it starts to get pretty cold. Um, so I, that's why, that's why it gets cold, right? (laughs) I just fucking forgot science already. I forgot science. Um, but yeah, it's starting to get fucking cold. Uh, and I don't like, I mean, I like it. I mean, I know. Okay. This, this year's different because usually I don't do anything in the summertime. And like whenever fall rolls around, I'm like, oh, hell yeah, dude, I'm gonna wear sweaters. I'm going to be all cozy and shit i'm gonna you know you know what i mean you know what i'm saying all my all, where are my fall heads at where are my fall guys at that's what the video game fall guys is about a bunch of people who really like the season fall fall guys autumn fellas you know those are interchangeable um <laughs> it's you running around in the game finding a perfect pumpkin to come home and uh, to take home and carve and it's whoever can find, whoever can balance on a a knitted sweater the longest wins Fall Guys. It's great. Um, but no, it's different this year for me because this summer I like, I really got into golf and I love golfing a lot. And it like is the only thing where I can like go and do, you know, that like takes my mind off of like work and everything and everything that I stress about and I can just go somewhere, hit a ball for a four, for like four hours. And it's great, man. I, I like it a lot, but <laughs> because I live in Canada and it's fucking winter time, five months out of the year, uh, I won't be able to play golf for like a long time. Uh, you know, this is probably the last month I'll be able to get some rounds in. And I know everybody hates me that I, I hate that I play golf and I understand. And I, I get it too. I don't know why I like it. I wish I liked a cooler sport. You think I'm happy about this? <laughs> you think I'm stoked about this? No, I wish I was. I wish I liked playing badminton. You know, that's indoor or basketball. I could just play that indoors. No, I got to play this dumb fucking sport. Once November rolls around, dude, I, I don't know what the fuck I'm going to do. I guess there's like indoor driving ranges I can go to. So it's not the same. And I'll just be inside ripping video games all the fucking time, probably. Maybe I'll stream on Twitch more. I don't know, dude. I don't know. But that's what I'm working with. That's what life is like, you know. Sometimes you can golf and sometimes you can't. I got to do, dude, I got to move to LA. I got to move to Cali. Dude, I got to move to Cali. It's like, yeah, I'm, uh, yeah, I'm moving to LA next next month. They're like, oh, damn, you made it. <laughs> Congrats, Curtis. You, you're you're going to LA. You're going to follow your dreams. It's like, nah, dude. I want to. I just want to. I want to golf when I when it's the winter time. That'd be fucked. That'd be weird. <laughs> nah, I mean, I would never move to LA. I'm not fucking down for that at all, dude. Not down. I don't like that place. Well, it's cool, but it's not for me. Um, so what's been going on, huh? What's been going on? I filmed a video yesterday, last night. Uh. It's definitely different from what I usually did. It's a, it's going to take a lot less time to edit. It's unscripted. Um, I don't know. I I just needed, I, I have like a longer video that I'm working on. I'm scripting it right now. 
um, that I'm going to work on for the rest of the month. And it's going to take a fucking long time to do. So I just, you know, I wanted to get a video out, you know, before uh, I really like dove into that one. Before I really dive into that one, I guess. Um, so yeah, that'll be up this Friday, hopefully. And, uh, yeah, dude, I guess I can tell you guys what it is. I, it, I watched my favorite TikToks. Okay. Cause I always make videos that are negative about TikTok, but you know, I saw Jenna Marbles and Chris Clemens do this video where, you know, you just look through your favorite TikToks and you talk about them and you laugh about them. And it's a great time. I cried like four times when I was recording that video cause I was just fucking laughing so hard. Um, so it'll be nice, you know, chill video. Um, what else do we get up to? What else happened? Oh yeah, dude, <laughs> Trump got COVID. How fucking crazy is that? Poetic justice, dude. How fucking funny is that? For the dude who is like, oh man, the, this virus pretty much affects nobody and nobody is really, uh, no. This is nothing, really. And they're pretty. he pretty much denied the whole thing. He tested positive, dude. Like, you can't write that. You can't write better shit than that, bro. He got He fucking got COVID. Bruh. I forgot I had my soundboard here. I got to make up for lost time. I just said seven minutes without using my fucking soundboard. What was I thinking? Um... I'm messing up my podcast. I'm, fishy, fishy, fish. I'm making it stinky. Uh, okay, anyways. <laughs> no, it's so... Dude, so Trump got COVID. And he apparently he was tested on like uh, last Wednesday. And he tested positive, And he didn't tell anybody till Friday. And he got like 30 people infected. Hey, man. You're so dumb. You're so dumb. Absolutely, you're so dumb. Because you can go to your, uh, so you can go to your fucking debate and act like an idiot. And dude, it's so funny. People who are like happy about Trump getting COVID. Because obviously that's hilarious, man. But the same people who are like, yo, fuck your feelings, dude. Trump 2020. Fuck the libs, dude. I will, let's ri Let's let's kill these protesters. Those are the same people who are like, oh, you're really wishing death upon an old man you're so sad that's so fucked up you guys are so violent like fuck you man yeah people are stoked hey hey dude the guy who is actively like taking away people's rights and practically is responsible for hundreds of thousands of deaths because he handled the coronavirus uh crisis terribly he has he has the 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 virus that he said didn't exist and didn't affect anybody. How fuck? That's hilarious. And if you don't think that's funny, fuck you. <laughs> right there, dude. You don't think that's funny? Uh? That's what I got to say to you, dude. Because that is hilarious. Fuck, there's something else I wanted to talk about pertaining to Trump getting COVID, but I forget. I don't know. Whatever. I can't remember. Dude, my brain never works. Um... But yeah, I hope Trump, I don't know. I don't want, okay. <laughs> people got mad at me for quote tweet. Dude, I don't know why I take it so personally, man. But people, I feel like I'm just not used to, um, I'm still not used to having like an audience where of like people, of like such a large audience where like some, like everyone thinks a diff differently. Wow, dude, everyone thinks differently. No, like, there's so many different, like, viewpoints and opinions and, you know, political uh, leanings, I suppose. And so when that thing, when Trump tweeted, he was like, oh, I have COVID. I quote tweeted and I was like, sorry if I ever doubted the existence of God. He is real and he is great. Um, you know, a little joke being like, wow, God is good because, you know, he got your fucking justice, dude. Karma's a bitch. Um... Karma is a, is a thick bitch. All right? Watch out. Um, <laughs> uh, but no, so many people got mad at me. Like, dude, the amount of times you preach positivity in your videos <laughs> really, really saddens me to see you preying on someone's downfall. It, 
You know what I got to say to that? <laughs> okay, that I I double pressed the button so I only got half of the fart sound. And that was the quick fart sound button, so I got half of <laughs> the littlest toot. Oh, that was funny. You know what I got to say to that? <laughs> A little fart. No, dude, if you don't know me at all, dude, fuck that guy, right? If you know me at all, obviously I'd be like stoked that he got COVID, right? It's just so fucking annoying, bro. And like, when have I ever preached positivity in my, when are, are my videos, is that what people think that my videos are? Just me being on, I, I turn on the fucking camera and I'm like, guys, we're all just humans like living together. <laughs> Let's just love one another. Why can't we just love one another? That's that's just why can't we just do that? Why can't we just all just tongue up open mouth tongue French each other? Come on. Why can't we just go butt to butt? Hmm? Is that, is that how you think my videos are, dude? Obviously, you'd be nice to people who are nice. But someone like Donald Trump, dude. If I walk past Donald Trump, like if it was just me and him on like a dirt road and he's like just, he's like five, maybe like 10 feet ahead of me and he's bending down to tie his shoe. Dude, I'm pushing him over. I'm absolutely pushing him over, man. There's no second guess. I'm like, oh, he's vulnerable. I'm gonna give him a shove. And like a good shove too. And I'm pretty sure a lot of people would do the same. Okay. I'm not alone in that. Comment below if you would push over Donald Trump while he's tying a shoe. Yeah. Dude, speaking of people getting mad at me, uh, <laughs> so last week's episode, uh, well, the last episode, I talked about how someone got... Okay, backstory. I had a psychic on the podcast, okay? And then people got mad at me for having a psychic on the podcast because, you know, I'm... Well, how would you? How dare you entertain that idea? They just prey on people's death or whatever. Blah 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 blah. blah. Um, but like, so does religion and so many other things. Holy shit! Um, so I didn't. I didn't think it was that bad at all. Cause and also my argument was, if you don't want to watch it, don't watch it. Um, and uh, so I got mad. I defended myself because I, you know what? This is my podcast. I've been doing it for a while, and I'm. I take a lot of pride in it, and I have a good time with it. So when someone was like, um, they were like, oh, I, that, that, the people are allowed, you're allowed to say what you want, but the vitriol, vitriol, is that what the word she used? Vitriol? Just fucking use it, but use a normal word. The vitriol that came from your mouth when you talked about this person was disgusting, and I'm not listening to your podcast anymore. Okay, see ya. Bye. Dude, it's like when I defend myself, as, now someone's going to get mad at me for that. And it's going to be an endless cycle of someone getting mad at me for getting mad at them. And then they're mad at me. What did I even say? All I said was don't watch it. Well, I mean, I also said that their, their dead grandfather has a podcast in heaven. Maybe that is, maybe that's offensive. No, it's not. That's nice. Their dead, their dead grandfather is enjoying his time past the pearly gates. Okay. Yo, that'd be sick, though. You know how many cool guests you could get on your podcast in heaven because they're all dead? All the dead people that are, like, cool? That'd be pretty lit. Guys, please, if heaven is real and if I somehow get in there and if you also get in there, please uh, listen to my podcast. Um, It's going to be... It's going to be lit. Very, really God. Damn it. But, yeah, that's pretty much all that's been going on. I'm not sorry that I had a psychic on my podcast. It was cool and I was it, it was interesting to me. And if you didn't like it, please stage your mind, please. Uh but fuck it, dude. How about we get into the Curtis corner? How about we hop into the Curtis corner, talk about some news, huh? I'll do the set. Here we go, theme song time. 3 2 1. Hey, what's up? Nice to meet you. Hey, it's Curtis Corner. Bye bye bye. Yeah, Jacob, what's good? What's popping? Uh not nothing at all. Nothing is popping currently. Um how it's popping with you? Uh nothing popping over here either, actually. So there's so, um, <laughs> yeah. So just, there's no uh, popping currently. Zero pop, 
No, nothing to report <laughs> on. <laughs> Damn it. Okay. I was hoping there was at least a little bit, but um, okay. So this week, I guess uh, this is going to be a true C- Curtis Corner, I guess, because I I'm, I'm the one telling the news to you. How the tables have turned. <laughs> uh, <laughs> this isn't like a creative choice. I <laughs> we usually have the meetings on Friday to talk about everything we want to talk about on the Monday, but I. I wasn't able to to make the meeting, so I I did everything, and now I have the stories to tell to Jacob. So it's maybe it'll be better. If not, I don't fucking know. It'll be the same. I guess it'll we'll be see. us talking about you. News. Uh, but the, so the first story we got, um, are you familiar with um, Salt Bay? This guy, yeah, yeah, the salt, so, yeah. Um, so apparently he wrote he opened a restaurant in Boston. Um, but <laughs> had to close like pretty, uh, pretty recently because they failed, uh, to meet COVID regulations. Um, Oh my God. Is this that video of like the girl throwing it back in front of him and then her boyfriend comes in? What? <laughs> <laughs> I wish oh, I didn't even know that. There's another side of this story. There's so, another okay. one. You finish your part and then I'll add to it. Oh wow. Okay, well that sounds way cooler. Well, okay. That just says violations listed on the city's website included patron employees not wearing masks along with blocked fire exits. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I was going to say it just makes sense that that of all restaurants, that one didn't follow regulations cuz like his whole thing is like f- like fingering your food basically, right? <laughs> right. Like he's yeah. got his mit- he's got his mitts all over it. Even his, his, the salt is falling off of his elbow, and I don't know how clean that elbow is, right? Well, uh, you, now you do the elbow, the touches, so he, he might have touched people's yeah, elbows. Yeah, so it's definitely even more dirty. It's got everyone else's <laughs> elbow on like it. Like bouncing off other people's elbows pretty much. Yeah, exactly. Okay, I'm going to drop you a link. Um, yeah, please do. So, yeah, first, just take a look at this table. Yo, what? To my understanding, and I'm not on Curtis Corner duty this week, so I have no, I haven't verified that this is for sure the case, but the way I understand it, that woman was throwing it back for Salt Bay. Uh Um, Her boyfriend or somebody was mad um, about Salt Bay seeing his girlfriend throw it back. Right. And I think that guy reported the restaurant to the city and got it no shut way. down. That's that's what I've heard through the grapevine. So maybe this is not true, but um that either way that that guy seems like a psychopath. I mean good for the restaurant for getting shut down. Yeah. Because it does seem like they were in the wrong guideline wise, but that guy seems like a psychopath. I hope that woman's okay. Yeah, what the hell? Just banging on the door? Yeah, terrifying dude. Like <laughs> real horror movie stuff yeah like what it wasn't like he she was like actually like having sex with him or something like that would be like pretty infuriating maybe i'm a cuck for this but i would let my woman throw it back for salt bay hey call me a cuck (laughs) but i would (laughs) i'd let salt bay look at my girlfriend (laughs) he made gaze (laughs) That's so weird. Yeah, I. Why would they open the door for him too? <laughs> right. It's like, it, he's banging on the door. It seems like he's like a vampire where you have to let him in. Right. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Please <laughs> let me in. I can't. You gotta invite me. You gotta say the words, <laughs> so I can be mad at my girlfriend. That'd be crazy if that was why the restaurant got shut down. For inviting a vampire inside. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. Like, if obviously, this was, if this video is recent, there's okay. Well, like, there's like two people wearing masks. Does seem like probably not a safe environment to be in. Right. If her butt had a mask on, then then it'd be fine. Right. Yeah. <laughs> like, 
each I think each cheek needs one mask. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you like. I, don't know. I guess underwear is just a mask for your butt, right? Yeah, pretty much. I mean, if you wear that kind of stuff. Yeah, I'm uh, personally, I'm not really. Yeah. I'm sort of an anti-masker in that regard. <laughs> 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 yeah, you go to an anti-masker rally. <laughs> like I go in commando all the time. <laughs> like, what are you talking? Like, well, this is not our messaging. <laughs> <laughs> You've. <laughs> you clearly misunderstand what we're going for. <laughs> uh, I do hope that woman is okay, though. Yeah, I hope she... Okay, if... Listen, lady from Boston who was throwing it back for Salt Bay, if you're watching this, you gotta you gotta leave that vampire boyfriend of yours. For real. And I saw so many comments on that that was like, I wouldn't let my woman oh, man. do this either. It's like people really showing themselves on Twitter like that. Uh, the well, news segment always <laughs> manages to get a little sad. Okay, well, <laughs> let's okay, let's get let's get some good news going in the chat. Uh, let's get some. So, this is probably one of my favorite stories of all time. Uh, but the cyclist Ruben Lopez spent 36 days Traveling four thousand kilometers from Poo Poo Point to Pee Pee Creek, uh, which is so beautiful, and he did it to raise, uh, bring attention to the humanitarian crisis in Yemen. Come on! So, it, what a good guy, right? He does a hilarious thing for a good cause. So Poo Poo Point in Washington, all the way to Pee Pee Creek in like Kentucky, I think. <laughs> How long did that take? It spent him like 30, 36 days, more like a more than a month. Oh my god. And this was recently? Uh yeah, like the end of like September 27th he finished his his bike ride. I really hope my my guy doesn't have a cough by now. <laughs> oh yeah, true. <laughs> <laughs> Where's he sleeping? I don't know. Uh, he sleeps just on his bike, still pedaling. <laughs> wow. I guess he was just camping. And there's like this great video of him on Twitter. He finally like reached his uh like destination and he's like crying. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine you're just at Pee Pee Creek or wherever the destination was, and then you see a guy pull up and start crying. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> I know he even calls out in the video like this is so stupid I'm crying it's fucking pee pee creek <laughs> it does kind of make me want to go to pee pee creek yeah you should I mean why why did they even name it that I don't understand <laughs> it must be that it was named that in like the 1800s and it's either a different language or it has some sort of other meaning attached because there's no way <laughs> it's it's about pee pee, right? Yeah, I, there's there's no way. <laughs> but then like poo poo trail, like poop. What what is poo poo aside from poo poo? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, poo 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 point trail. Go hiking. <laughs> okay. <laughs> WTA dot org slash go hiking slash hikes slash poo poo point. Okay, it says nothing about the name. It's just like the details. You gotta, you gotta address the name. You have to address the name. <laughs> if okay, I says, have a trail that's called like Herpes Trail, right? It, the first thing on my website is like, we know you're here for the name. Yeah, Here's we. What that's about. We know. It was my great grandfather's middle name. At the time, it felt really sincere. <laughs> Okay, PB Creek derives his name from Major Paul Payne, a pioneer settler who added his initials to a tree which stood along its banks. Oh. Stones taken from... Okay, well, that's... Okay. So it should be just PP, like the letters, PP Creek. But they added the what? E and the E. What does the PP mean? Because the P and the P are his initials. His name is... His name is Paul Payne. I'd be damned if I was him. <laughs> and they changed it to PP. <laughs> Come on. They did him so dirty. Oh, poor guy. 
So, but what about poo poo then? I'm trying to find poo 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 trail. I got a poo poo trail right here for you. <laughs> it's my skid marks in my underwear. <laughs> yeah, it's because we don't wear any underwear. Oh yeah, it's the skid marks in the inside of my jeans are filled with poo poo trails. <laughs> 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 Everywhere I walk, I leave a poo poo trail. Hey man, I go to I go from poo poo point to pee pee creek about every morning. <laughs> Uh, okay, here we go. History. The folksy name. Okay, folksy. <laughs> Interesting. Okay. The folksy I name disagree. is a reference to the steam whistle sounds heard through the tigers in the early days of logging. Oh, like poo poo. Poo poo. <laughs> <laughs> there was a man. <laughs> there was a man on top of standing on top of the steam whistle yelling poo poo. Poo poo. <laughs> That's so good. They really have an explanation for everything. Yeah, and it's not what I was expecting. So Wow. The result is a large clear area used now as a launching pad by paragliders who generally backpack their lightweight gear up the Chirico Trail. <laughs> it's like up the Diarrhea Trail. Um, <laughs> wow, that's crazy. I never would have guessed that that was the meaning for behind Poo Poo Trail. I'm glad we know that now. Mm hmm. That is huge. <laughs> Just like my own poo poo trails. <laughs> or um, if you're my bed sheets every morning, my pee pee creek. <laughs> Ugh, what a <laughs> terrible life we live. <laughs> Constantly shitting and pissing in our Truly. pants in bed. <laughs> I feel like it's pretty much every episode at this point that people learn something new about our disgusting poo poo habits. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's all poo and pee all the time. Uh, Do we probably have colon tract infections? Yes, most yes. likely. But it will remain undiagnosed. C colon <laughs> shit in CSI Miami. Colon shit infection Miami. <laughs> Miami. Uh, okay, well, speaking of shitty stuff, we got some uh, YouTuber news. Tana Mojo. Oh, shut up. I don't want to listen to this video. Uh, so she's sending free nudes to OnlyFans users who vote for Joe Biden. And the sentiment is um is good, I guess. Cause it's like, hey, you should you should vote. Um but also she was getting backlash because like you're not allowed to like share your ballot, you know, with people. You can't like I'm pretty sure that's like a crime or something. It also feels like it I wouldn't think it's legal to give somebody a reward for yeah. voting for a certain person. Exactly. And also, um, my friend uh, Lindsay on Twitter, she tweeted, I think, I guess she's also uh, an OnlyFans uh, creator. So she was posting a bunch about this because apparently you have to include a tip on OnlyFans to like send a message to someone. So, like, Realistically, Tana, Mo Tana is like profiting off of people's voting because you have to like, if you want to tell her that you voted for Biden, you have to send her oh. money. Is it is that like an optional setting? Can she turn that off, or is it like? I'm not sure. For sure, you have to pay. Oh, I have a screenshot. It says minimum. Yeah, enter tip amount. Minimum five dollars U.S. I opened the link, uh, and I'm looking at this picture that Tana put on Instagram of Joe Biden. Yeah, uh, bending it down low. It is very. It is a very Face funny down photo. Ass up. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. I will give her that. That is a very funny photo. And it's actually not photoshopped if, at all. That's the craziest part. That is what. Can you imagine if um, Joe Biden sent her proof of him voting for himself? <laughs> <laughs> Look, I did it. <laughs> what he's I like. So, so? <laughs> <laughs> I'm waiting. We can't offer nudes to people mm -mm. if they vote for Joe Biden, but um, we can definitely offer our biggest smiles. You know? Yeah, I feel like that's that's a okay in the in the in the eyes in the eyes of the law. I think that's fine. Absolutely, I think that'll hold up in a court. And if you law. If you can't beat your meat to a kind smile, mm -hmm. then <laughs> and you need help. What do you even have going? <laughs> yeah, yeah. 
But you need help. <laughs> I uh, if you can't, hey, just that if you can't beat beat your meat to that one, uh, <laughs> to that one scene in Forrest Gump when he he wipes his dirty face and it makes a smiley face on that shirt, and you can't beat your meat to that, dude. <laughs> Fuck off. If if you can't beat your meat to Castaway. <laughs> when he loses Wilson, <laughs> <laughs> then you're too far gone. If you can't beat your mate to Toy Story, <laughs> <laughs> when Woody uh, uh, simply exists, then what are you doing? That was my favorite part. <laughs> <laughs> we just really love Tom Hanks on this podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Biggest Tom Hanks stand cast. Uh, yeah, we call him Tom Yanks because we be yanking on our meat <laughs> when we see him. <laughs> uh, that's pretty good. <laughs> I like that. Um, well, we call him Dom Yanks. <laughs> Dom, Dom Yanks. <laughs> uh, that's so good. Well, that's all the news we got for this week. This is a, this is a good news segment. Yeah, I think ending on Dom Yanks is probably the best we <laughs> yeah. could have ever asked for. <laughs> I, yeah, I think that that's our out. <laughs> All right. Well, that that was the Curtis Corner. Thanks, thanks, Jacob. Thanks, thanks again. And thank you, Curtis. Curtis Corner. <laughs> All right. See ya. <laughs> well, guys, I got some big news. I got some exciting news. We actually, this is the first time in very, really good history. But we have a sponsor, guys. We did it. I'm a, I'm a big time podcast now. I got sponsors now, okay? Um, so uh, let's take a quick little break and hear a quick word from today's sponsor, Ridge Wallets. All right, this episode of Very Really Good is brought to you by the Ridge Wallet. If you haven't heard of the Ridge Wallet, listen up. It's light, sleek, and industrial. Unlike the wallets your your grandpapa uses, Ridge wallets don't fold or awkwardly bulge in your back pocket. And guys, it's seriously changed my pocket situation. I've gone my whole life thinking that wallets have to go in the back pocket. But with Ridge, it's flipped everything upside down. Now I can keep my wallet right up front and not hurt my butt whenever I sit down. Crazy. It holds up to 12 cards, plus room for cash. There's over 30 colors and styles, including carbon fiber and burnt titanium. And real quick, how intimidating is that? You're not going to mess with anybody who has a burnt titanium wallet. You kidding me? Ridge has over 30,000 five-star reviews. The durable materials means each wallet comes with a lifetime warranty. Lifetime. You hear that? You could buy this wallet and have it for the rest of your life. And you should. And hey, you know what? The folks over at Ridge are so confident that you'll love it that they'll let you try it out for 45 days. And if you don't like it, you can send it right back. I've been using the burnt titanium wallet for the past few days, uh, and I really love how it feels. You know, it's super sleek and minimal, and it's a lot smaller, you know, than a usual wallet. Like the fact that it can like fit in my front pocket is just crazy to me. <laughs> and also, I didn't know this, but apparently people can steal your credit card information wirelessly using RFID technology. That's crazy. But thankfully, Ridge has RFID blocking technology that protects you from those pesky digital pickpocketers. So if you want to give them a go, you can get 10% off today with free worldwide shipping and returns. All you got to do is go to ridge.com slash Curtis C. That is ridge.com slash Curtis C and use the code Curtis C. That's just common courtesy. And the link is also in the description. So yeah, give them a try. Big shout out to Ridge for being the very first sponsor of Very Really Good. That's huge. Um, but yeah, back to me. Wow, that was crazy. We did it. We did it, guys. We got podcast mid-rolls going. Soon I'm be talking about, dude, if I ever get a fucking Me Undies one or Cash App one, it's game over. It's game over. I'm a huge podcast guy. Okay, guys, we got to do this uh, poo tube segment, okay? Uh, this is rare. Poo tube, I guess it kind of, I don't have a, th I don't have a theme song for it. That works. Um, so it's when we talk about YouTubers doing dumb shit, even though, I mean, the Tana Mojo thing was kind of that, but I mean, I, she's trying her best, I guess. Um, but this one, this poo tube segment, seg segment is, uh, we're going to watch this video. It was taken at a Saddle Ranch. I fucking know what that place is. Sa okay, what is Saddle Ranch? I keep seeing a bunch of stuff about it. So it looks like the ugliest fucking place in the world. 
steaks, bowls, rock and roll. So it's like a country bar. So I guess this is a place where everybody, all the fucking influencers go, like the TikTok people go and they, they all hang out there. They just hang out and they, it's pretty much an anti-masker TikTok rally because nobody ever wears masks there and they're all just being idiots. And then they all have that Hollywood life or whatever is outside the front and they're like, guys, we did Please, what's up? I heard you made a new TikTok. And the guy's like, yeah, that's, yeah, I did. He's like, what? Well, how did you, can I be in your TikTok? He's like, no, nah, you're 48. He's like, oh, that's cool. I'm just going to take a video of you if that's fine. Because uh, this is not weird at all. Um, so this guy, Bryce Hall, he's a TikToker, and he's very cool. <laughs> he does all the dances. And he, he takes his shirt off. You know he's got the bangs, and he's and 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 that's and that's all you really need to be a star, to be a starlet. Um, so this is the title of this video that we're gonna watch. It's called Bryce Hall and the Sway House Boys gets very hyped at Saddle Ranch. <laughs> very hyped. All right, let's watch this, dude. Apologies in advance. This is the dumbest video of all time. Okay, so those uh watching, this Bryce guy is standing on his chair. In this crowded restaurant, he's standing on his chair. He's got his mask off. All his boys are filming him, and he's, like, giving this speech. Because, you know, so obnoxious and stupid. Go. All right, guys, so it's Saturday night, the one night of the week where the boys can just be boys. Yeah, boys, 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 give boys. Fuck up. have fun. Fucking do a girl. A girl. 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 Have your have your time in your life. Let's yeah. go crazy tonight. Let's do everything that no one's ever done in their fucking life. Yeah. Yeah. Let's do it. Let's, yeah. do it. Let's drink enough to kill a small Indian tribe. Yeah. Yeah. Let's drink enough to sedate a moose. Yeah. Yeah. Let's drink enough to kill my dad. Yeah. Yeah. Woo. Let's go. And then they all just yell a bunch, dude. <sighs> This shit makes me so sad. <laughs> and everyone's like just laughing at this and they think it's hilarious. I don't know. Maybe I'm too old, dude. Well, no, this Bryce guy's in his like 20s, right? How old is how old fucking old is this guy? He's got to be on famous birthdays. He's 21. 21? 21? He's giving a fucking pep talk speech at some fucking bar, dude. Bro, shut the fuck up. You had a bar. Shut up. I don't know if he's trying to be funny. Like, is that is that what that was? Dude, in the comments. Literally, he's the life of the party. <laughs> Bryce is such an extrovert. He seems so fun to be friends with. Jesus Christ. Well, okay. Now that's some real Bryce Hall stuff. <laughs> I, I just can't imagine, like, sitting down to, like, one of my friends standing up and being like, we're going to drink so much and have sex. And I, and I and then me being stoked about that. I'd be like, hey, man, you're going to fool out of yourself. Sit down. <laughs> be a normal guy. Come on. Come on. Oh, don't be shy. Be a normal guy. Come on. Don't be shy. Be shy. Please be shy. <laughs> Please be shy like me. And sit down in silence and have no one look at you, please. Dude, in his sweater says pain. <laughs> awesome. Three, di three days grace. Pain without love. Pain. I can't get enough. Pain. I like it rough because I'd rather stand on a table and give a pep talk to my friends. I just like, dude, a pep. If anyone gives a pep talk, we better be going into like a fight or like a. Like, a, a, no, not even a fight, a war, a battle. If someone gives me a pep talk and I don't have a sword in my hand, fuck off. That's the only time I'll listen to a pep talk. If I have a broad sword and a shield and armor and I'm on a horse, you know I'm on a horse. You know I'm going to be on a horse. If I'm not on a horse with a sword and a shield, don't try to hype me up, all right? Don't try to inspire me, dude. If I'm just, I'm just, if I'm just having a beer, leave me alone. But the second I'm on a horse and I got some armor on and a shield and a sword, dude, you better hype me the fuck up. I need that. And you better be Mel Gibson too. And you better have half your face painted blue. 
bars. Bruh. Oh, man. What, what are we at? 40-something? I don't know. 30-something? 40-something? Probably 40-something. Um, okay, final, final conclusion on that Bryce Hall guy. He's weird. <laughs> He's a weird guy. Maybe it's just because I'm so the opposite of that. I don't know. He seems happy. And people seem to like him, I guess. Um, but also fuck him, because he had those all those parties, right? During COVID. Uh and he's going places without masks. So fuck him. He's a dumbass. Someone's probably gonna get mad at me for that too. You know what I gotta say to that? Little fart. Little fart. That's my rap name. Uh <laughs> Okay, guys, I haven't done this in a while. We're going to give some advice, all right? So hit it. Um, uh, we can do some advice. Uh, uh, Damn, I need a jingle for my advice segment. Jingle, 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 jingle for my advice segment. My advice segment. Jingle for my advice segment. Shout out Dylan uh, again for that theme song. Uh, but let's, let's go. Hi, Curtis. I'm a senior in high school right now. And as the subject may suggest, everything sucks ass. Oh, okay. I have no drive to do anything related to college or learning or whatever other shit I'm supposed to do to get a higher education and become a real adult. Real adult is capitalized. Uh, is there any actual benefit in going to college, even if I don't want to go? Should I just not go and try to establish myself without any higher learning? I feel like college is a waste of money and time, but everyone around me is pressuring me to go. Uh, that is a great question. That is something that I, I'm sure everyone struggles with, right? Um, yeah, I mean, if you have no drive to really go to college, then I don't, you know, you don't really have to go, right? There are tons of people who didn't go to college and they've made great, you know, you can still get a great career. Obviously, if there's, you know, there's some things you do need to call it to co some things you do need to college for. There's some things you do need to go to college for, obviously, like if you're going to become like a, an electrician should go to college obviously because if you don't know how to do stuff and then you just go you show up at someone's house and you're like hey i'm the electrician and then you don't know how to do anything uh-oh i'm gonna start a fire or something uh but no to go to college just for the sake of going to college i don't think is very necessary um you know if you are in the financial opportunity like if your parents are paying for you to college for you to go to college um you know Maybe you could go, I don't know. Um, but if you can save some money and if you're paying it for yourself, then I don't, you know, I don't really see it because I don't see the point, you know. You can get a job without going to college. Yeah, or if you're, it, it all depends. I don't know what you like to do or you want what you want to do. Um, but I will say uh, college is, you know, as much as I talk shit about it, uh, it was a great experience for me. I met a lot of great people. Um, you know, I met Jacob and Dean at college, um, in college, at college, on college. We weren't on, we were in college and we met, we met at college and, <laughs> um, you know, that's pretty much the best. I pretty much paid like two year tuition to make two really good friends. And honestly, I'm cool with that. You know, I had a great experience. I learned a little bit and it was, you know, I'm glad I did it. So again, there's no pressure. You don't have to, but it all depends on what you want to do down the road. Okay. Uh, next one. Okay. Hi, Curtis. I just found out one of my really close friends from college is a Trump supporter. I'm Hispanic, and it really broke my heart that she su that she supports that very hateful piece of shit. I unfollowed her on everything, but I keep going back to see her Instagram stories and see all the hateful shit she posts. Should I confront her? Uh, yeah. I think. I think you should. You know, I think don't be like, you know, super mean about it. But I think because you know I just spread positivity. And just, like, good vibes and just, like, being happy all the time. Um, no, I think you can message them and be like, hey, I was, I know you're probably wondering why I followed you, but, you know, I'm, I was your really close friend and it really hurt me to see that, 
you support someone that is actively trying to take away my rights um, and is also just a hateful, stupid, dangerous person. Um, and just, yeah, just say where you're coming from. And, uh, yeah, I hope just try to explain how you feel. And I, you know what? I can almost guarantee you they're going to be like, well, fuck your feelings, Trump 2020. But I think it's good to get, to let these people know, you know, let them know that what they're doing is like, it can hurt people. You know, it can really like hurt people's feelings. It's not just like, it always bugs me when people are like, wow, you're going to really like, re- you're gonna really going to lo- you lose a friend over just some political opinions. Yeah. Yeah, dude. If, it, if they're like, Hey, uh, if someone, if someone straight up is like, yo, um, abortion is murder. And Mexican people shouldn't be in America. Then, you know what? Holy shit. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah, maybe we don't get along, actually. It's one thing to disagree on, like, I don't know, tax brackets. (laughs) Or, like, stupid, dumb shit like that. (laughs) Tax brackets are dumb. I will go on record. (laughs) No, they're good. We need those. Um, But, no, you know what I mean. If it's stuff that isn't, like, directly, like, endangering people's lives, yeah. Because Trump supporters, he's a white supremacist. He's, like, a racist. So, obviously, you don't want to be friends with a racist. Um, but I hope, I hope that helps. But yeah, my answer, yeah, talk to him. Let him know how you feel. Uh, hey, Curtis, I want to start by saying how wonderful it's been watching your... Con- okay, you don't gotta... Thank you. Okay, my question. Let's skip all the the nice stuff. Okay. Thank you for the burp. Thank you for the applause burp. Um, applause for my burp. Okay, I've always wanted to even just try an open mic type event. I don't know if I would ever actually do more than the occasional open mic, but stand up has always been something I thought I want to do in my life. I like to think I'm pretty funny. Probably the funniest person I know. I just don't know how to go about something like that and not crumble under anxiety or doubt. I guess this is a long-winded way of asking what your first few experiences were like and what process do you personally find best in preparation. Do you write your bits extensively, just wing it, or have a general base of content and kind of roll with the subject? Did you attend a few open mics as just an audience member before taking the stage yourself? Okay. I've got this question a few times, but I was like answering it. Um... Because some people don't listen to certain episodes and maybe they missed it. But I think, well, once we're able to do stand-up again, because now is a terrible time to start. Probably the worst time ever to start. Um, I mean, stand-up was already on quite the the boom, you know, quite the uptick. But now, I think once COVID is done, it's going to be even more. Because people are going to be like, fuck, I need to go do shit. Um, but I think once you're able to start again... My best advice is to write like a five to seven minute set of stuff that you think is funny, okay? Stuff that you would laugh at. Don't care about what other people laugh at. Don't even fucking think about them. Don't think about other people at all. Think about yourself, all right? You got to be selfish when it comes to that. Um, Because if you're not making yourself laugh, then what's the point, you know? What's the fucking point of all this if you're not giving yourself a good chortle, all right? You got to give yourself a good fucking chortle. This is why I got, this is why I have this fucking soundboard, dude. Because this shit makes me laugh every fucking time. That's so, that's hilarious. And it's fine. And if you're having a good time, other people are going to have a good time. But I think the best thing is to write, write it out how you want it, how you want it delivered. And if you have, if you have a thought comes to your head or someone says something, you're going to, um, change a little bit then you know there's room to improv there um and just yeah don't i know it's hard <laughs> but just don't think about it just don't think about it you just you say fuck it and do it it's only what five minutes and if it sucks it was only five minutes and you got the rest of the night to just get so fucking drunk about it and you're fine but i wish you nothing but the best i hope uh i hope it goes well and i'll be there front row um, okay, we'll do one more advice and then I'll, we'll wrap it up. 
We'll wrap up a gift and put it under the, the, the tree for old Saint Nick. For old Taint Dick. For old for old Taint Dick. <laughs> um Okay. Advice. My girlfriend and I are getting married and she keeps adding people to her wedding party, but I don't have any friends. So I can't match the, sorry for laughing. So I can't match the amount of people that she has in her wedding party. The problem is we would both, we would like both sides to be even. I mean, I guess it doesn't matter where people stand, but it's sort of nice for it to be equal. Should I just ask random people? Should I just have uneven wedding parties? I mean, I guess it doesn't matter because it's going to be a gay wedding and nothing is going to be like an average wedding. I don't know what to do. She has six and I have four. I just don't have as much friends or family, and it's bumming me out. Anyways, do you have any advice about this? I mean, what would you do? Should I not care about the fact that I have less people in my party? Um, I, I don't know. <laughs> oh, I don't, I don't care. No, I'm kidding. Uh, I don't think it really matters. You know, you don't want to just add random fucking people. You don't want to, like, add the bus driver, you know, the local bus driver, just because, just to have an even number, you know? You want to have people you actually, like, love, like the close people. I feel like that's going to happen <laughs> with me and Jenna because we we each have like two friends. So <laughs> when that happens, it's going to be very, uh, um, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be like th two people up there being like, yeah, it's, so we might have to invite the bus driver too. There's, you know, that, that whole like Fortnite meme when you thank the bus driver. We got to go one up. We got to one up that shit. You got to invite the bus driver to your wedding. Um, No, I think, fuck it, dude. It doesn't matter if you have like a, you, you even said it. It's going to be a gay wedding. So it's not going to be like your normal wedding or average wedding, I guess. Um, So you can say, fuck it, dude. Fuck those traditions. Have an, have an odd number. Have all of your, 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 your wedding party do handstands. That'll take all the emphasis away from the unevenness of it, right? Because if you look at, if your wedding party is all doing handstands, you don't even care how many there are. You're like, wow, they're doing handstands. That's awesome. So there's my advice. Have your wedding party do handstands. Easy as that, bro. But no, seriously, fuck it. Who cares? Odd numbers are, are cool and you can do what you want. Weddings, you know what? You can do what you want. I don't care. Or have them all stand on their hands. Uh, okay. Well, we'll wrap it up there, guys. Thank you for watching. That was episode, or listening. That was episode 116. Uh, thanks to Ridge for sponsoring. Um, first sponsor ever. Crazy. Um, and yeah, I'll see you next week. Guys, comment below some YouTubers or some funny people I should grab and get on the podcast. Um, cause I want to get more guests on here. And, uh, yeah, that's it. I'll s like, comment, subscribe, all that bullshit. Rate and review really helps out. And um, yeah, I'll see you guys around. Thanks for watching. And fucking peace out. Let's get a... Come on, let's get... Some yeah, there we go. Okay, goodbye. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, see you guys.